Hey guys, I was just on Blender chat and I noticed quite a, an interesting question. If you're making a single object out of two separate objects, so here we've got two individual cylinders, and you want to get a nice smooth result in the middle, then how can we do that? And it's actually quite straightforward. And just before we dive into that, uh, consider getting Turbo Tools if you'd like your cycles renders to be three to five times faster. You can find out more and see user reviews at the link below. The first thing, obviously, we need to combine these into a single object so that we remove any interior faces. So obviously inside at the moment, we've still got these interior faces um, from both cylinders. So if we come across, the way we can do this is using a Boolean modifier. So with one of them selected, I'll choose the Boolean modifier. I'll change it to union. I'll hover over this so we can pick the other object we want it to be a union with. Press E and then click on this one. I'll hide the original cylinder in the outliner, so we're just left with the result of that boolean, and then I'll apply this by pressing Ctrl A. And now, if we look in wireframe, we can see there's no interior faces. So that's one problem solved, but how do we smooth it? Well, because these objects are identical, all the vertices match and maintain quads after we've done that boolean, so it's quite straightforward. So I'm gonna go into edit mode, number two, to just choose edges, and I want to alt click to select the entire loop all the way around, and I'll do that for all of them. So alt shift this one, alt shift this one, alt shift that one, and now we've selected that entire uh, connecting area of the edges. Quite simply, we do control B and we'll bevel, and then F9, we can choose the options. So if you just bring up the F9 over here, we can control the shape using the shape option here. So by default, it's at 0.5 to try and smooth it automatically. Um, if you wanted it to be something like welding, perhaps you might have it coming out would slightly. But I'm going to have it at a right angle so that it does a um, you know a, a full smooth on it. I'll come out of edit mode. I'm going to do Control 2 to add a subdivision modifier. Right click and then shade smooth, and then we'll apply this modifier. Control A. And now we've got that final result. And if we go into edit mode. We can see what that's done. But what if we don't want to subdivide the rest of the mesh? We only want to smooth the part where they connect. So this is actually quite straightforward. We can go into edit mode. We'll select the same loop again, all these ones here. But this time we'll do the subdivision just on the bevel. So Control B, bring that up, and then bring up the F9 menu, and we can start playing around with the different options that we've got in here to control how smooth it is what shape it is and things like that. So 0.5, as I say, will be the smoothest. Um, we clamp over that, we'll make sure you can't go too far. So if I take this way too high, that'll make sure we're not getting any overlaps. Although it does seem to still be getting overlaps on the actual bevel itself, which isn't ideal. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Take that back in, like that. Uh, and we can also try changing the way it does it. So we've got different sort of options. We can turn up the segments a bit to get an even smoother result. Uh, let's try percent, in fact. So this will make a, a variable distance from the surrounding geometry. Like so. And then once we've done that, if we still want to smooth it a little bit more, we could right click or go into Control V to bring up the vertex menu and we'll say smooth the vertices a little bit to get a slightly different result. And again, like always, we can control that in here. So lots of different options with a, a simple geometry like that. So let's just come out of there, right click, shade smooth. The problem is though, what if you use, what if you're trying to combine two objects that don't have topology that allows you to still get quads, you know, perfectly aligned vertices after you've done the boolean. So let's have a look at that now. So now I've got this more difficult shape. You can see we've got actually got two objects. We've got a sphere and a cube that are boolean together already. But we can't use a bevel on this because it basically there's too much surrounding geometry. I can't bevel beyond the surrounding edges. So we'd be we'd be sort of clamped in to only coming out this far unless we moved all this geometry around to avoid any artifacts, which is a bit of hard work, which I try and avoid if possible. So what we'll do in this situation is actually go into sculpt mode. I press R to bring up the remesh options. 
make it quite small, and I'll do Control R to remesh it. And then I'll use the Mesh Filter tool, change it to Smooth at the top for the Mesh Filter operation, and then just drag across until I've got a nice smooth result. That's the way I would do it in that scenario. I would, of course, then need to afterwards do a retopologize uh, using. I'd, I'd never retopologize manually though. I generally use the uh, Exercise Quad Rematcher. But if you could, if you wanted to try, uh, you know, unless it's not important to you what your topology looks like, um, and if you just want to limit it. So if I don't want to smooth it all, we can actually use the Mask tool in here. So let's just bring up the Paint Mask tool. I'll make sure the brush is set to scene, so no matter how far in or out, that's going to remain the same brush size. And then I'll just start drawing around the area that I want to smooth to not affect the rest of it. Once I've done that, I will do a mask, smooth mask to give it a less harsh edge. And I'll go into the tools over here, I'll turn this off, and now I can control how smooth I want it to be. Maybe like that. I might actually grow it a little bit further, so into the mask, and I'll say Grow Mask, just to make it a bit wider. I'll press Control i so we're limiting it now, just to this area here that we've drawn, and then we'll use Mesh Filter again. Make sure it's on Smooth, and then we can just affect that one part of the object. And then right-click, Shade Smooth, and we've got that sort of an effect. So you've got lots of options how you can do it. Um, but there's just a few of them. If you've got any other ideas, make sure you let me know in the comments below so that other people can try your ideas out as well. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.